Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Hit that like and subscribe. We're just going to do a pick a card. I know these are upside down. Um, it's a little easier for me to pull them <laughs> quickly, okay? So go ahead and focus on the three options ahead, A, B, or C, or go ahead and use the back of the cards as images for you. Focus on the options ahead. Feel it and see it in your mind's eye. Whichever and whatever order calls to you has your message, insight, or confirmation of whatever you're dealing with at the moment, okay? And yes, it could be more than one if you like. <laughs> Let's get going. All right, if you've chosen card A, you have beauty. Merging against a delicate canvas of aqua sky and ephemeral cherry blossoms is an otherworldly portrayal of a spirit girl. A profusion of fragrant blossoms woven into her extravagant headdress frame her sweetly mysterious face. In Japanese culture, cherry blossoms have long been the symbol of the preciousness of beauty amid the transience of life. The Greek translation for the beautiful is kalon, related to the verb kalin, meaning to call. When beauty calls, we are elevated into a state of all-encompassing recognition, much like the feeling of returning home. It has the power to humble the heart, delight the mind, and transcend the beholder beyond the limitations of form into the realm of hope. Beauty is in indeed in the eye of the beholder, yet as Confucius wrote, Everything has beauty, but not everyone can see it. Through the mortal eye, there are times when beauty eludes us and we cannot see the grand design. We are only able to perceive the underside of our creator's epic tapestry and can make no sense of the loose ends, frayed edges, and knots keeping the supreme handiwork in place. The Persians, long aware of this, are known to create obvious errors in their rugs to show that except for Allah, no one is perfect. The appearance of this transformative card is telling you to open your physical eyes as well as the eyes of your heart to experience the healing balm of beauty. It is a favorable time to widen your perceptions and actively seek out the rich and sometimes hidden bounty waiting, be, waiting to be explored and integrated into your life. Whether experienced from within or perceived outwardly, the sublime gift of beauty reaffirms your connectedness to life. However, it may appear that there are no mistakes in the warp, weft, and perfect design of life's divine masterpiece. The more you align with your divine nature, the greater your capacity to experience beauty. Beautiful. If you've chosen card B, you have perception. All right, here we go. The familiar image of the stage is often used as a metaphor for the human experience, iconic masks of comedy and tragedy. Ancient symbols of theatrical culture invoke a spectrum of extreme human emotion. Captured here is the vision of an actress. The red of the curtain, her shoes and flower in her hair combine to intensify the atmosphere of vitality and passion. She holds a feathered mask in her right hand her bold, sweeping pose could be communicating many things, but in the absence of words, the audience is left to interpret the relationship between the actress and mask through the lens of perception. This card highlights the skill of perception, which encompasses the realm of intuition and extrasensory perception. It is a wor at work while divining with these oracle cards, or indeed any system of divination. While the perception card invites you to be open to its gifts, Realize that like the actress, it has equal power to, del to delude as it does to facilitate clear thinking. Residue from past experiences, the roles we currently play, and our desires and goals for the future can all color the way we perceive. By being mindful of these potential influences, we can be free from their limitations. Stand back from the play of life as part of the audience to not only enjoy a better view, but to gain a greater appreciation of the storyline. I love it. And if you chose card C, 
centering. I hear balance is at play, okay? Or needing to be. Let's see, centering. This delicate form of a Victorian fairy is centered within the elegant constraints of an ornate picture frame. She sits with ease and grace, comfortable in her own skin and confident that she will not fall. She has gathered an armful of forget-me-nots, holding them closely to show the importance of remembering her message. When embarking on our journey into awareness, remaining centered and grounded is an essential part of daily practice. Meditation, spiritual study, and service to humanity can bring us closer to our divine nature. Yet if we are not sufficiently centered, we can metaphorically be blown away. Our energies can become scattered and drained, leading to potential confusion. We are unable to offer anything from a state of depletion. The centering card invites you to align with your core essence and go forward in life from a strong position of unification. The temptation to divine, excuse me, the temptation to define <laughs> our reality through family, job, or achievements can distract from our spiritual essence and clip the wings to our freedom. Life is constantly changing and calls us to be flexible and centered to survive. By focusing attention inward, you gain strength to act as opposed to react to external influences. Prioritizing core values and beliefs provides a strong foundation to realign your energies, creating a boundary between where you end and the outside world begins. Identifying this point is key to raising awareness amid growing external pressures of the Western world where status and possessions are often the measure of worth. And that's totally not true, right? <laughs> the only thing that we take with us when we die is our spiritual growth. <laughs> By conserving your energy for the development of spiritual progress, the pressures and illusions created by the outer world will be easier to identify. In the presence of tension or anxiety, sometimes we need to breathe simply to regain perspective. As a part of a daily practice, breathing techniques help anchor thoughts into the present moment and quiet the relentless dialogue of the mind. Yoga is also a proven way to unify the mind, body, and spirit. Conserve your valuable energy for where, when, and how it is most needed. Once realigned, you will feel the benefit of meeting life from a position of centeredness and clarity. There you go. Hopefully that helps. Have a wonderful day. Bye.